Hello, family and friends. Welcome and in. welcome into your spiritual nourishment. <laughs> I'm the Shaman Empress. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. So, this is going to be an all over love energy for all the signs this week. All right, love messages for all signs. Okay, water, fire, earth, and air. All right, these are your all over love energy reading for all signs. Welcome in. Okay, guys. So we're just going to take a look at the all over love energy. A couple of things. Next week will be an energy check-in for all signs. Um, and it will also be us looking at you guys' money at the end of the video. How we usually do it. Also, I will be doing um, a, a couple things a little bit um different that i've noticed that i took sad note to that is coming up when it comes to you guys as emperor um through the love messages this week guys i've noticed a couple things with y'all's emperors that is going on and we need to get down to the bottom of it because I, I need to see what the freak is this is because some energies has been calm and certain energies has been literally like off the radar. Like y'all are really going through some shit. And there's been some things that popped up that I've noticed. So I took some sad note. So where will be two readings, separate readings that I will be opening up to. Okay, guys, and it will be based off those two things um, that I had to take a sad note to when it comes to your emperor and what they are dealing with. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with karmic energies and all kind of shit. So, um, yeah, we're definitely going to get into that. All right, guys. Also, I'm going to do some written messages. I feel like that is necessary. Um because of that energy, we're going to also do a reading that is going to be written messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. And then we're going to flip it and do the um, written messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine readings as well. Because I feel like there's a lot that needs to be said between the Emperor and his true Empress. Okay? Because the Empress and the Emperor, they're, 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 it's a lot of shit that is going on. And we got a lot of different energies around us. So we're going to do some clarification on that. So look out for that. All right, guys. Keep in mind, this is still a general reading. So only take the part that resonates and leave the rest. Okay? If it's not for you, never force it to fit. That is for whoever else is here for their spiritual nourishment. If you would like to book something more personal to your situation, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I also offer one, two, and three question readings if you are interested. Okay, guys. So, let's look at this and see what is going on. I'm trying to grow spiritually to meet you where you are. I have been getting a lot of twin flame soulmate energy. All right, when it comes to you and your emperors and the emperor and their empresses this week. So I'm not surprised that came out. I hate how I treated you, okay? So let's dig into this. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. We have, I keep thinking about you when I, when I first saw you in reverse. So this person doesn't want you to know that they still think about the first time they saw you. I have a feeling that this is someone from your past. Obviously, this is um, someone that you already know. When they first saw you, you saw each other. Again, what did I just say? Thank you, spirit. I need you in my life again. And I hate how I treated you again at the bottom of the deck. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. Left messages for all signs. All water, air, earth, and fire signs. What written messages from their person for the collective that is here. The person they click on and they want to know about. What messages do you have? Messages do you have? I feel like someone is struggling with connecting with you as well. Like making contact with you is what I'm getting. Let's see. Messages from the person for the collective. All signs, love messages from the person. What does their person want to say? Person want to say. What do they want to say? Mm. 
Oh my gosh. And look what came back out again. So this person wants you back. What did I say? They want to reach out to you. They're struggling. They need you back. They want you back. You are the only one who sees the real me. I am in awe of your love. My heart longs for you and only you. What did I freak did I just tell you? Okay. What else? Tell me more. With my other messages. Thank you. I don't understand why things are the way they are. Okay. I only I am I am lonely without you. I wasn't completely honest and I regret that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here it is. I don't understand why things um okay, well, I already read that. Why I don't understand why things are like they are. You are absolutely beautiful in every way. I feel like this person watches you. There are so many things I want to do with you. Damn. Okay, I can't stop thinking of you. I feel like you're better off without me. So someone here is in regret. That's what I was saying. I feel like this person is struggling with reaching out to you. I feel like um, this person could have did something that is like, you know, I am confused why it is like this now. Like, you definitely cut this person off. I feel like this person could did it something that is like unforgivable. Like, I feel like you just stood your ground with this person. It was like, uh, uh, that's it. Toodaloo. Okay, like that kind of energy is what I'm getting here. So let's see. Almighty beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. What did I say? Six is about harmony being humbled. Six of Wands, Leo Energy, your messenger. Passivity, this person wants to message you. And what the freak do we have here? <laughs> the freaking Emperor. And then I tell you that this person is watching you. Page of Swords. I can't, I'm, I'm serious. They're watching you. And we do have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So, to me, like, look. Period. This person is also, um, this person know where you live. They could be, um, going around your home, but they're definitely watching your social, so, social media. Three of ones in the freaking higher fence. Yo, when I tell you this person is going around your house, almighty beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Also, I'm getting this court one to come out. Yeah, they're watching you because you definitely stood your ground. I'm also getting that this person could have heard something about you what the spirit oh my gosh what does it say five of wands leo energy yes okay there could have been some rumors here that was said they could have believed something that wasn't true here and this is why um yep and a half ones back here and this is why the three of ones and the ten of ones is here okay aries you're definitely real strong um in this Reading, you could have an Aries placement, or you're definitely dealing with the Aries. Virgo, all the air signs is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. The higher font, Taurus energy, look to a pentacles. What did I tell you? And this is why they jumped you back and forth, but low key in the inside. You truly make this person happy here. And what do we have? The King of Cups, boom. And this person definitely wants to come towards you here. Um, for some of you guys, um, this could be the father of your child, okay? Or this person sees you as like the the they want, or this person wants to impregnate you. Oh shit! Yeah, with the page of swords here, this person could want to like get you pregnant on purpose here to keep you stuck. The ten of wands with them. Damn! What kind of pussy you got? Okay, okay. Calm down. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, sis. Page of Wands. But here they ask is come. Slow as hell. Okay, but they want to work on this. This is also sexual energy here. The Ten of Swords. What I say, slow as hell. They're not telling you this. This person definitely fantasizes about giving you some kind of offer here. Um, Here. Yeah. They're, they, they're scared that you're fucking with someone else. The Three of Cups and, and the King of Pentacles here. Yep, and the Two of... Ones you're going, or you're, you could reject them or decide to fuck with other people here. Yep, yep, two of swords here. All right, because of some shit that they did in the past. I don't know what that is, but there's something here this person fucked up and did here. And this person could feel like, you know, in order to get you back, they want to come in and get you pregnant. I'd see three people masculine here. 
I do. Some of you guys have um, a lot of suitors. Damn. Some of you guys have a lot of people after you. Um, you you could be getting a, a notice a lot here. I don't think this emperor likes that, okay? Because the emperor is a boss, a CEO, okay? Um, he is someone who has their own mindset. They're used to getting their things done their own way, fire energy here. I feel like this person is definitely watching you from a distance. And they're watching these other men flirt with you, okay? They don't like that. Emperors typically don't, especially Aries. That shit just don't work with them, okay? Um, this person does not like that. They know um, that they've been juggling, coming back and forth with, um, coming forward towards you here, okay? Because the page of one jumped out earlier, okay? With the six of one energy as well here, okay? With coming forward, making an offer towards you, they're juggling that. And this person, the emperor doesn't like rejection, Okay. Um, some of you guys got a lot of suitors here. Some of you guys, there's, there's somebody, there's a, there's some people that basically want to tell you how they feel that you make them happy and they kind of want to give you their cup of love. Like they want to, you know, talk, date you. All right. And then you have other people here. Yes. Three of pentacles, king of pentacles here that definitely want to provide some kind of stability. For you, like on a value nice thing, maybe take you out on a date here with the two of wands energy is also what I'm getting here. So you shining, I'm hearing that song by Rihanna. I'm shining bright like a diamond, honey. Okay. Woo, child. I see you now. Yeah, so yeah. Let's get into this. <laughs> I feel like this emperor has regrets here. Yep, courthouse and meaning. There's a lot of people that wants to come to you um, and, you know, uh, come together here with the Taurus energy. This emperor, somebody here sees you as marriage material. Mm -hmm. Taurus energy, um, Taurus, uh, the higher font is also um, about, is the keys um, to the street. This is also a commitment. I could also be talking to the same sex relationship. This person sees you, um, could uh, somebody here could... Uh, Shit, somebody here could be getting proposed to. Or see their self proposing to you or proposing something to you. Someone here is also, oh my gosh, is secretly planning a proposal behind someone. You might not know this. You might think this person is distance, or for some of you guys, you're thinking like your emperor's acting funny here or something like that, but they're wanting to take you off the market. They see, look, and meaning, they're going to propose to you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Yes, too, too. They want you in their life. They want to be your soldier. See, they see you as someone that's not going to last long on the market, and they know that you are theirs. They want you to be theirs. I believe this is this emperor. Yeah, thievery. What did I tell you? They they don't want no one. They, they Yep, they, they're taking you off the market. They be down to see you walk down the aisle with somebody else. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. Tell me more. What do we need to know about this emperor? I want to clarify these king, all these men. Who's the emperor? Who is this emperor? And what does what? Oh, yeah. See, this emperor got a lot going on, y'all. So you and this emperor was in this messy situation. I feel like these is mostly messages from this emperor. What the. Look, y'all, came back out. What I tell you, this is someone you're not talking to. Unexpected money. Okay, so this is someone that could also be wanting to provide, give you a gift, buy you something nice. Look, a lot of money. Damn. The emperor's a boss. So he's definitely to someone who has money. You could be talking to someone who has money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they want your success and love here. Look, expectation. Look, they're stuck. This person is stuck on you. What I tell you. Mm-hmm. They're stuck like Chuck. That's what I just heard. <laughs> okay, give me more. Oh, what is this? I was just going to say the King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles thinks about you, but this is a false person. This is someone that wants to come together. I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, They could come together um, with you for sex. Yeah. The strength card is here. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of you guys, 
did, some of you guys got people up that that, that with three three. Yeah, they come in, they come in, in with small offers. Okay, some of them could be um you know you're you're you could be like, you know. Some of these masculine energy is coming in with small offer. You're someone that could be like really sexy, sexy at this time. You're attracting, you're attractive. You stand out. Your emperor sees that, and they also see other men that are sexually attracted to you. Period. And there's could be men making you a lot of sexual offers. Okay, um, for some of you guys, you do have a false person here. This King of Pentacles, because I was just about to ask who this is with the Three of Cups here. He's this person wants to have sex with you. Period. Now, I'm not saying eventually it can't lead to something here, but this is what they want. Yep, look, they're coming. They're coming here. They want to value stuff. What did I tell you? The King of Pentacles gives you gifts. Come together. Three, three. Okay, three is about material treatment, structure, and order. But their whole plan is to, um, yeah, right? They're like hoping and praying with the good Lord card here. Their, um, small child is also immature energy. Um, th th this is not a, a, ma a mature offer, right? Look, grief and sorrow, you're, they're going to leave you in, in grief and sorrow. And for some of you guys with a pleasant letter here, like, you're not even going to be able to reach back out to these people, some, this masculine. That's in the King of Pentacles energy. And I feel like some of you guys know that, and I, and I feel like you've just been pulling your energy back from a lot of people because you, you're like, you're tired of dating men like that. And that could be why the Two of Pentacles is here. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, like, okay, you know, come in and, you know, they just, they basically just want to sleep with you. I'm going to pull the King of Pentacles out. Okay, some of you guys could be getting a lot of, um, um, sexual off offers right now. Okay, and I'm going to just pull this out and we're going to lay that there. Yeah, and you're tired of getting your heart broke with the grief and sorrow card. Okay, period. I feel like for a lot of you guys, they, like, don't see your, like, worth, okay, until it's, like, gone. Like, you could be one of them kind of people where you're very sexual attractive and these men want to hurry up and get in bed with you. And then, you know, they realize with the higher front energy, like, well, and what I tell you, courthouse and marriage, that you're someone of, you you know, you're, they want success and love with you here. That's why success and love is here. They want, um... They end up wanting to be with you. They end up, like, you know, thinking about you, two of pentacles, coming back in your life, and now they want to offer you some shit. Okay? Boom. Thank you, spirit. Look, a gift. I can't make this shit up. Message and pathway. And here they go, coming back, a wealthy man. Some of you guys got wealthy men coming after you that want to do something. You could, you guys could have, like, first of all, somebody is definitely, um, I do see a proposal here. So congratulations for some of you guys, all right, that are going to um, take a step farther with your emperor. But there are some of you guys that are definitely, definitely um, got people that's, offering you like wanting to take you out wanting to take you out on dates here okay period here they see um you as a potential partner all right period with wealthy men and pathway they want to date you here they could be messaging you a lot they want to offer you some kind of commitment here and also with the despair court like i was just about to say for some of you guys like i see this emperor here seeing that and that's why they want to take you off the market with thief card and that's why they're coming in with this proposal Boom, marriage. Thank you, spirit. Because they don't want nobody else to get you. And I'm not saying this person don't want to marry you. I feel like this person been seeing you as marriage material. Thoughts is here. But see, they don't want nobody else to get you neither. Right? Expectation. Look, in distance. So, in funeral. Right? Before they're, you know, because you guys are in distance. And they might have had a lot of things to think about. Look, with concern here. While you guys we're in separation and mature man. Look, a mature woman. This is a, a couple. Right? In this deck. A married couple. And now they see, like, you know what? You know, look. And they want to build this family with you. Family with you. I can't make this shit up. And now they're, they see it. Like, no. Okay. I might have listened to some things that wasn't true. There was some shit that might have been said that wasn't true. They may have listened to and things of that nature. But now they're running to come back. They also see that everybody doesn't listen to rumors. Okay. Like, you know, they want to be stuck and listen to shit. Every man don't move like that. Every man's not stuck. 
right? Every man don't isn't the same kind of man. And they're like, let me get out my thoughts, feelings, and emotions before it's too late with the funeral cart and it's over, right? Look, living room and pathway, and they don't want to be with me no more. Judification, and it's over, okay? All right, and I'm seeing that here. All right, and maybe that's what this person needed to, to wake the fuck up. I'm just saying here. And that's why we have um, don't make it decisions with the two of ones on the bottom of the deck. All right. Let me see. I'm going to pull from another deck here. I'm being pulled to these cards. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. Tell me more. Look, lover's card in the Knight of Pentacles. What did I tell you? For some of you guys, this person is definitely... So for some of you guys, you're getting a proposal. Um, we're going to pull some time in. Look, again. And for some of you guys, you have a tram stamp tattoo. Okay. Four of Cups. Seven of Cups. Fantasy. This person is thinking and fantasizing and planning it and strategizing Okay, on how to come forward to you. This person wants you. They see you now in the pentacles. I feel like you're the um, abundant person. You're shining. People making you offers. Okay. And what the freak keep coming out? Almighty beautiful universe and holy spirits. Tell me more about this page of uh, swords. What is this page of swords doing? What is this person up to? What is this person up to? This person also could be watching you from different accounts. Oh, my gosh. Like, if you're getting, like, fake even numbers or... Like, because there's an app you can download numbers on. This person could be, like, playing on fake numbers, fake accounts. It's also what I'm getting. Damn. Like, they're preparing for union is what I'm hearing. Page of Swords. Thank you. We have... Look, Ten of Pentacles. I told you, look the full card. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. You know when I come together, this is definitely someone from your past, and they feel that soulmate energy with, and they want you to open up to. Look, they're ready to take this chance, and what do we have again in Page of Swords? Because they want to hold on to this relationship, and here goes the freaking emperor. <laughs> Aries energy. Oh, my gosh. Three of Wands. What is this Three of Wands on here? For some of you guys, you could be um, talking to someone from a different ethnicity. The three of ones is distance as well. Okay, seven, seven of ones. Yeah, see, they're distance because they feel like your guard is up. Seven of ones is Sagittarius energy. You could be talking to a Sagittarius or a strong fire sign, right? Four of pentacles in the chariot. See, they know that your guard is up right now. Okay, so they could be in the energy of like, you know, like testing you. That's why they're watching you from different accounts or a plan on your phone from a different number. Okay, because they feel like you could reject them. All right. And they don't know how to come towards you right now. Give me more on the five of one spirit. Thank you so much. What do we need to know? Why is the five of ones here? Thank you. Yeah. They're avoiding the conflict with you. They don't want to like, okay, so when this person comes back. I don't feel like they want to dwell too much on a negative or what's split with you guys. I do feel like this person wants to have some kind of serious conversation with you. This is definitely somebody's emperor. He's here twice. All right? I do. I just feel as though they don't want to reflect so much on a negative. They want you to put your guard down and reflect on how to move forward here. Look, Father Swords. They want to have a real conversation with you. It's real. The emperor is the emperor. There's many kings, but there's only one emperor. Emperors are very territorial, right? This that inner inner Aries energy, that fire energy. So this person with the fabric source energy, when they come back around, they're going to be very straightforward. They're going to be very clever, very strategic. And what they say, not only what they say and how they say it, they're going to lay it down for what it is. This is what they want. They want you to be theirs, period. All right, look, seven of cups. They want options. Look, um, the hermit, inner knowing. So they know what they want. What did I say? The hermit is inner knowing, Virgo energy. This emperor could have a Virgo um, placement. But the seven of um, cups is here. All right, how they want to live, how they want to do things with you, all these options, okay? Um, they probably... What, this is also fantasy, so they could have always fantasized about having a relationship with someone like you, and this is something they could want to confess, and this is why they see you as a um, 
uh, marriage material with the Hierophant energy here, the King of Wands here. They have a lot of sexual desire towards you. All right, give me more on this Hierophant. Thank you. Yep, because this is faded. They know that this is what they want. They also know that this is a love of a lifetime. I feel like this Emperor is in the energy where they feel like, all right, I kind of always wanted this with this kind of person. This is the kind of person I also wanted this kind of um, love, the success in love with. If I don't do it now, I'm probably never going to get it. I like this person. There might be a lot of shit going on between y'all right now. There might be people that have a lot of opinions here. But at the end of the day, I want this person. Look, and the two of pentacles is here again. All right, I want to work on this. All right, Nine of Pentacles is also about retirement and loss, right? They see you also as a single person. So you're single, you're abundant, you're in your fruition, you're in your north node right now. All right, you're very attractive and they're trying to figure out how to come forward with you. Look, Queen of Ones and the King of Ones came out. Your counterparts here. Right, Three of Cups. They're juggling Two of Pentacles on how to come towards you. Give me more of the, um, the Ten of Wands spirit and why is the Ten of Wands here? Yep. Their burden of how to come out. Also, there's a lot of fucking people in y'all business. And y'all know I'm trying to um, stop saying that F word so much here. But that Six of Ones energy is a is messengers and they're burden by that. I don't know what the freak is being said or who is saying what, what is saying who, or what they said about you. This also with the Five of Ones could be fake ass friends. Maybe some of their fake ass friends. Maybe someone may know you or some shit like that here, but it's not true. But this person wants to come in and um, restore balance in this connection. Right? What I tell you, because you're single and abundant, you're the Queen of Pentacles. Period. And I'm going to tell you something else. The same people that is talking shit on you, if it is some of their friends find you attractive here. Eight of Cups, and they're coming towards you. Look, strength card. They want to work on this. For some of you guys, you work out or your person could work out. Okay? It's like, you know, all these people in y'all business. What is going on with the Five of Ones? Thank you, Spirit. The Queen of Cups. Because at the end of the day, this is all kind of chaos and confusion, but they cannot stop thinking about you and overcome this feeling here with the hermit that they fucking love you. They have, they love you. Look, here, four of cups. They're set without you. That flipped over. And look, ace of wands on the bottom of the deck. They love you. Boom. And here go the king of wands again. And I just saw the page of, the page of wands. They have a, this um, desire for you. Period. Bottom of the deck, high priestess in the knight of pentacles. That's it. Their guardianess, their hatness. This is their secret. The high priestess also holds secrets. Look, worry in the zaddy, the nine of swords. And here we go again. The emperor, the king of wands. It's also fire energy. Spirit, tell me more about why this emperor is here twice. Why is this emperor here twice? Why? Oh. Right? Boom. Knight of Cups. Because they want to give you some kind of apology. But this person is still really guarded. Knights are really guarded and they're really slow. But they know they want to offer you some kind of cup of love, cup of emotion. And they want to give you an apology here. Knight of Swords. Injustice. What I tell you. And what I say, when this person comes through with the Knight of Swords energy, okay, and a strength card, this is going to be... They, this, this is the Emperor. Okay? So... <laughs> You know, have a nice, pleasant conversation. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to pull some timing and get a spirit message. And that will be the overall reading for all signs this week. It's up to you is on the bottom of the deck in abundance. So it's up to you whether you want to, um, you know, accept this person back in your life. I feel like some of you guys is like, you know, you want to listen to your friends, my friends or whatever. These hating ass motherfuckers that is around y'all. It's like that is on you. I'm not going to kiss nobody's ass. You know what I'm saying? You are the queen of pentacles um, energy right now. And you're also the queen of one's energy. Okay? Because this is emperor and empress energy I'm getting. And remember, the emperor embodies all kings. And so does the empress. And we saw a couple queens. The queen of cups, the queen of pentacles pop out in here. The queen of um the king of pentacles and the king of cups. Oh my god, popped out. So this is the emperor and the empress. 
Okay, and you're like, I'm the freaking empress. I bow to no one. All right? <laughs> and the empresses usually don't. They're the freaking empress, right? And I feel like this person kind of likes that about you, but it does scare them to a sense of, you know, being rejected by you because it's like, you know, they're scared you might, you know, stand up to them. Thank you, spirit. We have remained positive in reverse. What did I just say? And this is what this person is juggling and struggling with. Okay? Yeah. In the near future, and yes. So, boom. Recovery. And this is what they're coming for. All right? That is just what it is. This person is definitely longing for you, is what I just heard. And I just saw, I am so lonely without you. All right? Just poked out to me, guys. All right? So, that is what I have, guys, when it comes to the timing. So let's pick out a spirit message. All right. What message do you guys... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, almighty beautiful universe. Thank you guys so much. And spirit guides and ancestors, thank you so much for the messages this week for the beautiful air, water, earth, and fire signs. What message, what spirit message do you pick out and want them to have this week for them? What should they know? What energy do you want them to leave out on when it comes to their love messages? Okay. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. I think it's a time for you to get your feelings in the line. I did see um, a lot of water energy. So I think you guys are very emotional right now. So you might need to put some balance on that. Okay. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. What spirit message do you have for the collective, for all signs, for the love energy this week? What do you have for them? Thank you. Did something pop? Nope. Ooh. Truth. What I say? So you can heal and stay in your truth. Okay. What messages? Messages. Ooh, there we go. Wisdom in reverse. Okay? So this is the time to work on what you know, what your truth is, right? That not just pop out what stands truth to you. I feel like that's in reverse. And I feel like because it's you need to focus on that. And that's what spirit wants you to focus on. Get your thoughts, get your clarity in order here. Look, ground this. Thank you, spirit. Right? So you can ground yourself. Some of you guys might need to get out to get clarity so you can think clear, right? And leadership, Ganesha's here, the elephant, right? Demigod. And we have um what is this? Three Orca. Okay, which, like I said, oh my God, about your emotions. What did I say? A lot of water energy. You see that little girl under all that water energy? So you can think and battle out your emotions. Seven is also a spiritual test. I'm seeing three, three. Three is about um, balance and dynamic, right? And if you, um, a lot of decisions that you want to make, um, this is just an overall energy in your life, in your partnerships, in your love, right? And I feel like Anisha is going to help you out with that i feel like a lot of you guys are connecting with your demigods and you have demigods is around you at this time ganesha is an elephant hindu god he is about abundance and that did pop out oh my god yes it popped out um yeah earlier yes in the um angels deck okay uh, so it's about abundance so they're going to help you with this help you heal this so you can come into your abundance guys okay so that's what I have for you this week for all sounds all over love energy, guys. All right. So I hope this helps you guys. And this is going to be the end of the reading. All right, guys. So let me know it resonated. Let me know you stopped bad. Do that by hitting that like bell. Hitting the like button. <laughs> also hit the notification bell. Make sure you're hitting all. Make sure you are getting all the content that is released and everything that I release on my channel, which is daily content. I do work on. I'm a single parent, so it is hard for me to release on the weekends. But Monday through Friday, I am releasing. Okay, next week will be the energies check-in and money for um, all signs 
her element and keep in mind to look out for them readings that I told you guys that I will be dipping into. I might even try to get that done this weekend. All right, and out to you guys um, because there's some things that need to be clarified. All right, I'm open, I'm open and available for readings. All right, guys, if you need me, you know where to book me in the description box below. Thank you for all the support love that you guys give me in donations. If you would like to do that, everything you need to know, guys, is in the description box below. I love you guys. Everybody, um, have um, a nice and safe weekend. It's Halloween weekend. Happy Halloween to all you guys. I hope that everybody is safe and remain safe. All right. Please watch the kids. You know, people be trying to do some crazy things around this time of year. So protection for all of you. Love you. Next time, Ashe.